What's up everybody? Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really sorry for yesterday. I could not do a video because um, I had an event. I was working. Uh, there was a, an event that we had to do, me and my wife. That is our business, our side hustle. Uh, anyway, welcome to the, to, the, to the channel. If you're new here, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, so that won't miss out on all of the videos that we do here on JCTV Zimbabwe. So the focus that we have today to those that are joining us, this is the third episode of Easter, Easter. And um, to some today, it's a Sunday, they are saying it's a resurrection, resurrection Sunday. But I'm here to shock you today because clearly it is not all about Jesus. It's not all about the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It is a pagan worship. As I clearly showed you in other in the first and second episode, today I'm I, I'm actually asking a question to those that are watching today. The question that I'm asking you is that, uh, and I'm gonna make this a little bit shorter than than normal. The question that I want you to 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 ask yourself is: You are purportedly celebrating the death and the resurrection of, of Jesus. Um, why didn't the apostle in all their letters we had apostle john we had apostle peter we had apostle paul we had uh philmon uh, we had uh, i mean jude we had uh pastor james all these individuals they form part of the new testament writings none of them admonished the believers that they were writing epistles to to celebrate the death and the resurrection of jesus christ and that all comes to a number of things that were done during the law because the bible speaks on the book of um, galatians uh, chapter i mean uh, romans chapter 10 on verse 4 that christ is the end of the law so the moment that you as a New Testament believer, are celebrating the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ at a date that you consider as Passover. I don't know what you're celebrating. You're celebrating the Passover from Egypt to, to Canaan. Uh, that was celebrated at, um, uh, at Exodus 14. Is that what you are celebrating? Or you are celebrating the other one? Because the moment that you start to do the Old Testament uh, things or the Old Testament um, you start to observe the Old Testament already you are disannulling the covenant of the New Testament I want to show you some scriptures which shows you that the moment that you read Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 what it then means is that you as an individual as you are following you must know that let's look at a number of things that are in the New Testament and that you, you find in the Old Testament. Let me tell you, in the Old Testament, we had the word circumcision. But numerous scriptures, Paul speaks of the circumcision of the heart. Right? The circumcision of the heart. The circumcision of the heart, uh, which is done not done from, from the outside. That's what he says. But it is the circumcision that is done from the inside, from your spirit. So, once you are in the New Testament, it's the Old Testament, the Old Test, the Old Testament um, observances or the the statues that were in the Old Testament were a picture of the New Testament. The Bible speaks of that in Hebrews chapter uh, chapter one, uh, that uh, chapter chapter ten, that it is. The law being a shadow of good things to come, not the very, very, very thing. So, which means that you, as you are observing the statutes of the Old Testament, these are, they were a shadow of the things that were to come. They were not the real thing. So, once we have come to the real thing, once we have come to Christ, we have actually come to the, uh, to the, to the real thing. So, you need to ask yourself, how do I interpret the Passover, which the which I have already given you, that Christ is our Passover. He is one who has translated us from the 
darkness into his light. Right? So that is Christ for you. So the moment that you honor Jesus, the only moment that you do the communion of the Lord's Supper with your family or as a church, you are remembering the death and the resurrection of Christ. You are doing it in the remembrance of, of the Lord. So that's what you are doing. So at the end of the day, many people are doing this because they feel like they are obligated to do so, but yet it is not supposed to be like that because they are doing that in observance of the Old Testament um, uh, laws. So what I want to say to you is that there are a number of things that are done in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, they, they had what they call the first fruits. And when you come to the New Testament, the first fruit that we have is Christ. He was the first one to rise from the dead by his own. That is very, very important. So, the first fruits that we used to give, that people used to give in the Old Testament, were a, a picture of the true first fruit to come from the dead, which was Jesus Christ. So, you come to the time where people were, were, were doing... Uh, uh, we were going to 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 uh, to the feast of the boots when they were doing that the feast of these boots if you read in the bible peter when he was about to die he says that this tabernacle so these were small tabernacles that they would build which represents our body that when we are worshiping they would go there and worship for a few days and when they would go there and worship for a few days and celebrate the feast of the boots then they would come back right and you know enjoy um, uh, the other ceremony that they would do but it was representing our 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 body because we are here in this world as pre pilgrims just like what they would do they would go there and build temporary shelter this body is this tabernacle is temporary one day to be destroyed the bible speaks of that part when Peter was saying that this tabernacle which is about to be destroyed. So he knew Peter that he was in that temple or in that tabernacle for a few for a, for a short time. That's what it is. So you if you get to look into that, you find out that uh, you understand that the Bible, if you read the Old Testament, you should be able to interpret, you should be able to interpret the New Testament and come out with christ in the new testament that's what it is all about i want you to go out and look out for a message which is on youtube it's called mr rini tauluma sheomikra it was uh, preached by apostle tf chuenga go and look for that it explains how these laws were done in the um, uh, the pesach and uh, the che gamazot and all these other um, uh, celebrations were done it is called the mystery of the holy con convocations so that's what it is all about but i wanted you to understand that what it meant if you are especially if you are shona speaking because he speaks a lot of of oh, a lot of time in shona if you are shona speaking it will really help you but if you are non shona speaking get in touch with me i'll give you other messages that will really help you to understand that easter is not all about jesus christ and the celebration of Christmas and Easter, they are all evil. They do not come to uh, our Lord from, from, from God. They are a celebration that has been taken by pagans and they have been brought into, into the faith. But that's all that I have for you today. Um, I was hoping that I'm going to do a live today with uh, other fo folks, but because uh, of other work commitments, they cannot make it. And um, I hope that maybe on Easter Monday we might be able to do something. Uh, anyway, tonight I'm going to be having other individuals that we are going to be doing a show with. So uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and share this video with your family and friends. And I'll see you again on the next episode. This is your boy once again reminding you that Rise Up Africa, the world is waiting for you. Thank you for watching.